Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Mike's Talks and Thoughts here. Back again with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be doing a room tour video. Originally I was going to do a poster collection uh, video for you guys but I figured why not just show my entire room. Of course I film in my room and I just wanted to do a room tour video for you guys. So yeah, let's get started here. So first off we have my joe dumars jersey of course i am a big pistons fan then here we have a newspaper posting uh back in the day my two favorite teams the pistons and the celtics were playing at this time so i had this up in my room for a while and then down here we have a justin verlander poster so yeah next here we have the commemorative championship edition uh, book of the 1990 Detroit Pistons team. I got this while I was at the Basketball Hall of Fame. So yeah, it just has all the cards from the 1990 team. Moving up here, we have our In-N-Out and Krispy Kreme uh, hats. I got those both while in California. And of course, here we have my Lawyer Up license play. I had to get this off of Amazon. Um, Let's send some positive thoughts to Bob Odenkirk for a speedy recovery. Hope he does well and gets back and able to bring us out Better Call Saul Season 6. So yeah. So next year I have just a big sports section so I will be going through. So just down here we have my backpack, a newspaper uh, article with Derek Jeter. And I have some fat heads down here, just Curry, Harden, LeBron. Durant, Rose, and Mello. Crazy to think that the only person still on their original team from this is actually Curry. Everyone else has moved on to another team. So yeah, we'll move up here to the first shelf here. And here I have a signed uh, Pistons hat uh, that my friend gave me. It's from Boban and Ish Smith. I just love this logo, so I had to display it. Uh, just a Tigers, little di Tigers hat right here. Um, I've had this for a while. It's my Shawn Michaels, one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, just uh, him posing and uh, definitely an older model of Shawn Michaels from the 90s. Then just here I have some sports cards here, just of some of my favorite players or some memorabilia or rookie cards or anything like that. Then back there I have just a Dale Earnhardt uh, plaque. Next here we have just a basketball that I like having in my room. Uh, this Pistons um, ball that I've had since I was a kid. I like displaying it. Um, Pistons souvenir cup and of course just more sports stuff. And then picture of me when I was little. And then over here we have a Chris Webber and a Rasheed Wallace. Just some mini posters. Then here I have my Dodgers um, baseball just on display. And then um, another baseball has, uh, with the glove in the back. I really like this. It's a nice piece for the room. And then here we have just our football helmets. It says every team. I split them up into divisions. So that's why they're in fours like that. And then back here, an old restaurant we used to go to. You used to be able to get these um, NBA basketballs, so I used to try and get as many as I could. These are all the ones that I could find. Uh, you know it's pretty old when the Charlotte Bobcats are still in existence at this time. All right, then up here we have just some more um, baseball cards. Um, got a signed picture right there from a Detroit Red Wings alumni. And then, just like the football helmets, I have the baseball helmets as well. Um, every team is split up into divisions. Um, here's me with uh, my dad and my friend uh, in San Francisco. Then a picture of one of the greatest managers, Jim Leland. A uh, picture of Joel Zumaya when they won the ALCS in 2006. A picture of Curtis Granderson. Uh, and just some more Tigers cards here. Uh, baseball that I got, the Baseball Hall of Fame. My Victor Martinez bobblehead. Um, my Miguel Cabrera, just another figurine. And then I also have this Tigers uh, locker, which is pretty nice. I store some stuff in there as well. 
So yeah, now we're moving on to my favorite part of the shelf, and that is my Mike Trout portion of the shelf. Uh, Mike Trout is my favorite athlete of all time, so of course I'm trying to build a nice collection for Mike Trout. Uh, my friend Nick actually gave me this plaque of Mike Trout, and I just absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite thing on this shelf. Um, I have this bat here that I got when I used to play baseball that I just display up here. Then I got some of my Mike Trout cards just sitting up there. I had this Mike Trout uh, figure that I got off of Amazon and the Funko Pop. <laughs> then just some more baseball stuff like a regular baseball and some plastic baseballs and a baseball um, bank. And then I have the Trout Fathead with his name and the logo. Uh, one thing that I have been thinking about getting for this shelf is a Mike Trout signed baseball. But I'm still on the fence about getting that because of how expensive it is. But yeah, I feel like that would round this shelf off perfectly. And let me know if you guys find anything good because I'm trying to find some more stuff I can always add to this shelf. So moving along here, we have my Julius Irving jersey. Of course, I have my mirror right there. We have my Julius Irving jersey here, one of my favorite jerseys that I have. Then up here, I just have some of my favorite players and cards. I just wanted to display them up here. I used to have um, just some printed out posters up here, but I moved them and put these uh, cards in the spot. Moving down here, um, we have this regular show poster. Now, I recently just got this a couple days ago from my friend um my friend tim and uh shout out his brother as well um yeah it's a little bit beat up but uh he was cleaning and he found this and tim knows that i like regular show so he got me this poster and i absolutely love it um i was trying to find where to display it but for right now i think i'm just going to keep it right here i might move it in the future next here we have my isaiah thomas jersey and my Richard Hamilton banner. And now here we move to one of my favorite parts of the room, uh, my DVD and collectibles section. So first we're gonna start here at the top where I have my Dexter Morgan versus Walter Roy. I saw this on Amazon, two of my favorite TV characters of all time. And I just think that this canvas looks such badass just the way that they're looking at each other like they're rivals it's just so great next year we have my heisenberg funko pop i actually got this in a deal with the dvd collection so i just display this right here of course i got some old family pictures here and then probably my favorite youtuber here larry law and i have his book Gangster Redemption. This is a great read. I haven't gotten through it all yet, but I've read through some of it. And his story is just so inspiring. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. Larry Lawton, so amazing. And then next year, we're going to move into the DVD collection here. Now, I don't have a big collection of DVDs, but these are just some of my favorite shows that I've been buying. Uh, I haven't bought a lot recently just because the really isn't a series that i feel like i need to get on dvd um but yeah these are just some of my favorite series and some of them i've gotten for gifts some of them i bought myself but yeah uh i have them separated here into categories like my dramas my comedies and then other um shows down here mainly comedies but yeah let's get started so first here we have the dexter complete series of course i'm going to need to get season nine when that comes out i'm definitely gonna purchase that next year we have the wire one of my favorite series next we have the breaking bad complete series um that is where i also got the heisenberg funko with in a package deal with that then i have my sons of anarchy um DV dvd set here as well uh, my Sons of Anarchy and my How I Met Your Mother I bought before I got Hulu. So they're both on Hulu, but I'm really glad that I do have them in my collection because they are two of my favorite shows of all time. 
Next year, we have Stranger Things Season 1. Uh, Matt, uh, whose channel I'll link in the description below, actually got me this for my birthday. And it really got me into Stranger Things, so I gotta thank him for that. Uh, season 1. Next year, we have The Office and Parks and Recreation. Both two of my favorite sitcoms. Uh, I love putting these in and watching them late at night. Both such great series. Next year we have my Spongebob one, uh, the first 100 episodes DVD. Of course, the only Spongebob episodes that are even good are from the first 100 episodes, the first five seasons. So I definitely plan on doing a video in the future, watching all these episodes again and ranking them from one to 100 of best to worst. So that is definitely a, a idea that I have. And this is a great uh gift that I got to do that video. Next year we have the Freaks and Geeks DVD set. I got this also from Matt. I, I really love the packaging of this set. So great. Um, and one of my favorites as well. Of course that 70s show. I got this for pretty cheap on Amazon. Uh, Nick, who you know from MVG Nick, uh, got me this The Last Dance. I'm going to link his channel in the description below as well such a great gift i love watching this live on tv and i plan on watching it again with this set that nick got me um i bought merry christmas drake and josh off of amazon and this is one that i always end up watching every year for christmas the three christmas movies that i always watch every year is merry christmas drake and josh home alone and charlie brown christmas those are the three that I always end up watching every year. So this was a great addition to add to my collection so that I can just every year pop it in and watch it. Next, another friend who I have, uh, another Nick who I'm friends with. He got me this uh, Big Bang Theory um, season seven and eight. Uh, just had them laying around. He was like, do you want them? And I said, yeah. So Big Bang Theory, another one of my uh, favorites. So. And then we have Young Sheldon here, which I got just the first season. Um, I've definitely not been as big on Young Sheldon at all as Big Bang Theory, but um, I was very grateful for Matt for getting me this gift. And then The Blind Side, one of my favorite movies of all time. I've had it on DVD for a while. It was one of my go-tos to watch when I was a kid. So, yeah. Next year we have some board games, and we have The Office Downsizing Game given to me by MVG Nick, a uh, great gift. And he also gave me this 2000s trivia game, uh, both great to play with friends. Uh, and then over here, we just have some miscellaneous stuff, extra hats and um, Taboo, another one of my favorite games that they got me and some extra books over there. Down here, we have the greatest book series of all time, Harry Potter, one of my favorite uh, reads I've ever had. Uh, I've read the series multiple times and seen multiple videos on YouTube. I've seen all the movies and I just love Harry Potter. One of my favorite, uh, series of any genre ever. And just some extra books over here. Down here we have some equipment for games. So we just have extra games down here and just some extra equipment. And then over here we just have some extra posters as well. Um, that I haven't had a chance to hang up yet. Um, this guy who here who um, I actually met when I was playing Little League. He actually came to one of our games and was signing for people. So I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, Dale Earnhardt Jr. there as well. Then moving up here, uh, one of the items that I was waiting for to get in from FedEx um, was this Remedial Chaos Theory poster. I couldn't find anything on Amazon for Remedial Chaos Theory. I was like... I just have to display this episode in my room. It's my favorite comedy episode of all time. And this was my favorite image that I can find. It has all of the characters in the spots that their number is on the die. And I love how it shows um, each one. Um, of course, Troy there. And then Annie with the purse. Pierce with his gift. Shuri with her pies. Abed with the... Um, the boulder and Britta with the uh marijuana and singing Roxanne and of course Jeff in the middle just love this poster 
And then next here, this is probably the part where you guys always see for my videos. Um, I have my Breaking Bad poster here, my Stranger Things poster, and my Prison Break Wanted by the FBI poster. I absolutely love all three of these series and make great, great additions to my room. And then moving up here, I recently moved my Sons of Anarchy poster up here. It used to be where the community poster is now, but... I couldn't fit the community one up there, so I moved the Sons of Anarchy one. And then, of course, I have Dexter, one of my favorite series of all time. Had to get a poster for this. Uh, there was this poster on Amazon, but it was in a size where it was just too big. Um, so I decided to get it uh, scaled down and delivered by FedEx. Next year, we have one of my favorite basketball players of all time, Hakeem Olajuwon. I uh, absolutely love this jersey. Um, I might move it to a different location in my room just so I can have more space on this wall. But yeah, I really like this jersey a lot. And then next year, right above my bed, we have some of my favorite posters. Um, I have this Mafia poster here. Um, so great, I found this on Amazon. Uh, some of my favorite shows and movies are on here. Of course, The Soprano, Scarface, The Godfather, and Goodfellas. Just so great. I love the poses and um, they're all playing poker. It's just so great. I loved the design of this poster and had to pick it up. Then, of course, I have my Prison Break Season 1 poster with the cast from Season 1. One of my favorite TV seasons of all time. And then here, one of my favorite designs, The Wire, with all of the major characters as well. Next here, we have a Kobe Bryant collage that i made uh rp kobe down here i just have some of his accomplishments that he had with the lakers and i really like this it's not going anywhere um kobe great player so sad to leave so sad to see him leave so soon rest in peace kobe next year we have a gta 3 poster grand theft auto 3 and this i actually got in a package deal with this Vice City and this San Andreas poster. Um, I got it as a PS2 exclusive, uh, all three games. And I like just displaying it. Grand Theft Auto, one of my favorite series of all time. Next year, another one of my favorite Detroit sports athletes, Maglio Ardonias. I've had this in my room for a very long time now. Then here we have uh, the first poster ever added in my room. I've never actually taken it down. Uh, the Spongy Rider um, SpongeBob poster. Um, it's been in my room for probably over 15 years. Um, and it's just so iconic to me. So I keep it up there. It might come down someday, but yeah, I, I still enjoy it. Next here we have the Drama Tournament TV board. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the uh, tournament that we did. Um, we did a sitcom tournament, a drama tournament, and then a cartoon tournament, which will be out soon on Matt's channel. Um, and I kept the board from the drama TV tournament. This is one of the best tournaments that we did. I absolutely loved filming this with everyone. And it was just so great. You can hear all our thoughts and opinions on all of these shows in that video. And then next year, we just have... Um, these little tubs next to my bed. I usually just display stuff here or keep stuff that I need. So my laptop, my keys, my wallet. And then other things, of course, I have my, um, my cross and my picture here uh, as a man of faith. Um, I have my PS4 controllers here. I have my AirPods back there, um, some extra headphones, um, my Dale Jr. poster. Um, when I was doing... Um, Boy Scouts, we did um, races, and this was the car that I built. I have my iPad back there, along with my old yearbooks. And then next year, we just have these letters that my friend from the Army wrote, and I just keep them because just a crazy time, and I always want to keep that memory. Next year, we have my hat collection. I usually just keep them stored in this box because I just have so many. Um, if you guys want me to, I can do a video going in depth on all my hats. Of course, you can see I have the Pistons, the Los Angeles Angels, the Sharks. I got every sport, 
Uh, I'm trying to collect all of the teams from at least basketball and baseball are my two favorite sports. And then I just have some teams that I really like as well. So yeah, I really like my hat collection. Like I said, I'll go in depth in a video if you guys want me to do that. Next here, we just have this space above my dresser and it mainly just has my accomplishments when I was a little. Um, I have uh, just all these trophies and of course with my clock that needs to be reset. And then picture of me with my dog. Um, then this picture as well. Um, this is another one that I do want to take down just because um, I'm not really big into cars, not as much as I was when I was little, um, but it's kind of in a spot where it's hard to get to behind my dresser. So yeah, for right now, I'll just keep it there. It's uh, still a nice poster. So yeah, then there's my Grand Theft Auto Vice City poster that I was showing. And then next here we have my Undertaker poster. Now, uh, Undertaker is my favorite wrestler of all time, so I just keep this poster here as a um, tribute to The Undertaker, of course. And I also forgot to mention back here, I have some of these other posters. Uh, these are mainly wrestling posters that um, just didn't have enough space or are just taken down, uh, put over there. So the next here, uh, I have this Hotel for Dogs. Uh, poster that I keep in here is one of my mom's favorite movies so just keep this in here uh makes me think of her then here I got my tv and then lastly here we have this pistons and bucks banner uh with the signature of Terry Cummings uh I actually got to meet him at the basketball hall of fame so that was really nice to see him and hear his experiences in the NBA so he signed that, and then we also got this banner for him to sign. And the very last thing before we are back to where we started are these two NBA superstars, uh, Grant Hill and Penny Hardaway. We just found these at a thrift store, so I just display them here uh, right by my light. And then, yeah, we're back at the start. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, it was definitely one that I wanted to let you guys see my entire room and I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions of uh, what else I should get in my room or what you think. So yeah, leave it in the comment section below and peace out.